Today we're back on iRacing and we're going to be jumping back into the Formula Vs at the Oshlaban circuit. Hopefully I pronounced that right. We are out of rookie license in the Formula cars, but I really do enjoy racing these because you can have some real good close battling. In addition to that, guys, it's going to be the first outing for my new wheel. Check this out. I plan on doing a video real soon just to show how my setup has changed since I started sim racing, but yeah. This is the new wheel that sits on the Logitech, has a screen and everything. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to jump on track and try this out. But without further ado, let's jump into the race and see how we can do after a rather disappointing qualifying. All right, we're back on uh, Formula V. Oshlevan. We don't talk about qualifying, but we are starting P12. Everyone's gridded. Here we go. Oh, jump start. That was a bad start for me. Got too much wheel spin. Wasn't very good on the clutch. So I got a free position. Carnage. Somehow, for once, we've managed to avoid all the carnage. Up to P6. Oh, these guys. Well, the leader's bolted. Oh. Going for it with the McLaren livery. Right, let's try and focus. And have a good battle here. Leader is absolutely gone. He's maybe safety rate in farming. He went very slow there. Guys up in the pits. Promotes us to P3. 2.8 behind P2. 11 seconds behind the leader because he just bolted and wasn't involved in any of that carnage. That's insane. Turn then. Oh, these cars. <laughs> Man. Get back and focus. Oh, and they've taken each other out behind me. <laughs> oh, man. I 
back out throttle there. I wasn't quite slow enough going around that final corner. Alright, P7. Seven incident points, though. Spent a bit longer on the brakes that time. Let's close the gap down to CJ in front. That was a good lap, felt like a good lap. The car in P4, just set the fastest lap, 44.557. New fastest lap for you. Took out half of the deficit there to CJ in that lap. About three seconds off him. It's an off track, really. All right, well, not sure we're going to be able to make any more inroads here. Ahead of CJ, because these guys are quite a way down the road, six seconds. Off the fastest lap, then. Car on your left. Clear. Yeah, I think CJ must be like safety rating farming. Right, the gaps come down a little bit in front. Let's go down to five seconds. Um, but we haven't got long left. Only about another three minutes of race in here. You're pulling away from the car behind. 
to get these. One point. Keep digging. Out of the sausage curve, but luckily it worked out for me. We've taken another second out the guy in front. Slower lap though, because we had to deal with CJ potentially. Come on, we could maybe get P5 here. Three point six seconds is the gap. Point eight. The gap is coming down. You're pulling away from the car behind. The gap is six point three seconds. The leader is Dida Porch five point zero six five. You got about five laps of fuel left. White flag, white flag. One more to go. Can we take two and a half the seconds out this guy? In the final lap. Into the 44s. Take there, we could have gained a bit of time potentially, but we've lost time. Point three seconds. Ah, I think it's going to be too little, too late, unfortunately. more laps and we might have been on the back of this guy everything for the last couple of laps but ultimately it wasn't quite enough so it's going to be p6 there's the flag it's over sorry buddy that was on me great job <laughs> you did really well you've got wheel damage all right let's take a look at the results this was split two of four and the strength of field was 14 15. we came home in p6 having started p12 fastest lap of the race for us was a 145 337 fastest lap of the race overall was a 143 799 so we're about one and a half seconds off the pace i could have sworn i got into the 44s but oh well we had 12 incident points because we had a real terrible start to the race, real terrible qualifying. So no surprise, our safety rating goes down by 0.16. We take 45 championship points and we have an I rating increase of 11. So there we go, guys. A few more laps and I think I would have been able to catch the guy in front as I do feel like I was catching him. But on my part, 
very, very scruffy. We had a terrible qualifying, which saw us start in P12 and rack up incident points. We had a terrible start to the race, which saw us rack up incident points. And then, stupidly, I went to pull him behind the guy in front, carrying too much speed. And guess what? Racked up even more instant points. Next time out, though, I will definitely try to keep it a lot cleaner than we did today. But these things happen, and sometimes you can't avoid the accidents as they're unfolding in front of you, no matter how slowly and carefully you are trying to go around it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And if you want to see more racing from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in iRacing and want to give it a try, head down to the description where you'll find a link. And hopefully, I'll see you on track real soon. But thank you very much for watching. Until next time, see ya.